Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we'll try to understand merge sort algorithm. So these two are the this is the main merge sort function and this is the merge. So within this function, we are going to call this merge function. The details about this merge function has already been explained. So how that merge works has already been explained in our previous video. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video because without understanding how that merge works, you may not be able to understand uh, what we're going to discuss in this class. And every video on our channel is going to be a part of an entire course or a playlist our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now this is uh, what we're going to discuss in this class and by using this example so this example we have taken we have already taken in our previous videos okay so uh, we are using the same example and we are trying to solve it and here this is our activation records that are generated so uh, in the recursion and the introduction to recursion a discussion about the recursion we, we have discussed that for every function call a new activation record will get created so ms stands for merge sort function call whenever a merge sort function call is called so then uh, ms we have used and here m m of 0 comma 1 comma 1 is for merge so in detail we have written all these uh, uh, all these are all the activation records that are that will get created in the execution of this program okay so let's try to start our first activation record so which is this is our first uh, function call which is made so the first function call is ms of 0 comma 7 so which means 0 p and q the value p and q are the lowest index and the highest index 0 comma 7 because this is the this is the array which we would like to divide into small small problems small small sub problems okay so we are going to start from 0 comma 7 so dividing this array into small small pieces means it is not physically it is logically so that part of the array which we are going to concentrate on we are going to solve we are going to solve that part of the array in the sense we are going to sort okay so uh, with that uh, we are going to start our first function call p less than r p less than r 0 p means 0 and uh, r is 7 0 less than 7 is it true yes it is true if it is true what is the value of q 0 plus 7 by 2 which is 3.5 by 2 which is 3 and the floor value is 3 so 3.5 uh, 7 by 2 which is 3.5 and the floor value of uh, 3.5 is 3 so p q r three numbers are uh, represented in order p q r p is 0 q is 3 and uh, 7 is r okay and this is where okay so uh, we have find the three value of three uh, value of q as three and the next function call is merge sort of p comma q merge sort of p comma q means it is zero comma q is three so this is where we are and here we are making another function call another function call means another activation record this activation record is for 0 comma 3 0 comma 3 p comma q okay so this is where we are going to stop the execution of ms of 0 comma 7 so that is represented here okay so this is the line of code where we have stopped our execution and we have uh, uh, this is the point where another function call is made that another function call is p comma q so first we have made the division here at uh, 0 comma 3 0 comma 3 okay so uh, this is where the function call is dividing see here ms of 0 comma 3 means this is the part we are going to consider this is the part we are going to consider first division is made first we have taken completely the division is this part okay division means once again i am saying this point again not physically not physically this is the part we are going to consider this function call is going to consider only that part of code that part of array okay so again so for this function call the value of p is 0 and r is 3 see here p is 0 and r is 3 and now we are going to come here 0 less than 3 is it true yes it is true then we have to find the value of q 
0 plus 3 by 2 it is 3 by 2 3 by 2 means 1.5 the floor value is 1 again so 1 0 1 2 3 so entire in this entire part now we are going to consider only this part of code see here what happens here this th with this we are going to find the value of q we found the value of q value of q is 1 value of q is 1 and next the function called p comma q is called so what we are doing we are dividing the problem we are dividing the problem try to get that point okay p comma q p comma q means 0 comma 1 so from this entire array we have divided here and now this part we are dividing this part we are separating this part okay so here is 3 comma 6 this part has been separated not physically so this is the part this function call ms of 0 comma 1 is the function call which is concerned only about that part of the array this part of the array means these two values will get arranged in the sorted order the job done by this ms of 0 comma 1 means the remaining steps ought to be executed in the process of completion of this function call so we are going to arrange these elements in the sorted order try to get that point okay okay so now now uh, 0 comma 1 again this function call is made 0 comma here 0 comma 1 function call is made okay and this function call is made and the value of q is 0 value of q is 0 plus 1 by 2 1 by 2 which is uh, 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 0 plus 1 by 2 is it right yes 0 plus 1 by 2 1 by 2 which is 0 0.5 0 0.5 means q is floor value is 0 so uh, again what is the function call 0 comma 0 is the next function call that is being made so this function call will also stop here will also stop here and in this line of code 0 comma 0 is made see here in this line of code so all these three lines of code all these three function calls or stopped at this line of code try to get that point at this line of code this is what uh, uh, initialization pointer right so uh, instruction pointer this is what we call it as the instruction pointer this is where the execution has been stopped which we have already discussed in the recursion video okay so now in this third line what is the function call that is made 0 comma 0 0 comma 0 is the function call made so ms of 0 comma 0 here 0 and 0 value of p and r we don't have q value why this is where you have to understand that point okay so 0 comma 0 p and r are 0 comma 0 0 less than 0 so we don't have that so this function is going to be false so we are not going to execute all these lines of code and that function call will uh, complete its execution because this cannot be see here 0 comma 0 means this is the value right because this cannot be further divided try to get the essence of that uh, function call because this cannot be further divided we are not going to consider this function call it is of no use right okay so now this one will be is done it, it's done its completion big these lines have stopped here see here still we have to execute fourth line and fifth line okay okay now next function call so here so this line has been died means so we are we are so far these are the lines that that has been called later we are going to get these function calls we are uh, we have already written a prior for better understanding for better teaching okay so now this one will be uh, is gone and now we are going to come back to this line of code and where we have stopped our execution in the line 3 in the line 3 we stopped our execution and what is the value of q here value of q is 0 and the next line has to be executed and this is going to call ms of ms method of 0 plus 1 what is the value of q it is 0 0 plus 1 means 1 1 comma r r means again 1 so the function call ms of 1 comma 1 is made see here 
so this line of code is getting executed now this one will be 4 this is where a new function call has been made this is where a new function call has been made a new function call is been made means the instruction pointer is going to be changed okay and uh, what is the function call ms of 1 comma 1 now what is the value of p comma r 1 and 1 1 and 1 means they are not going to be less than 1 less than 1 is it true no it is not true so this function call is also died because we are considering only one element one element cannot be further divided the logic behind that uh, uh, dying of this line of code means so this line of code means if only one element is there means which cannot be further divided it has to be it has to stop its execution try to get that point that that point is very important okay so now this is done now where we have stopped this and this is done where we have stopped our execution in the line 4 in the line 4 means next line of code will get executed so this line has to be executed what is the value of pqr it is 0 comma 0 comma 1 so with merge of 0 comma 0 comma 1 which part of the array will get merged this part of the array will get merged merged merge means this function call so we have explained about this function call in detail in our previous video now this is the array that we have to consider on this array this merge will be done this merge call will be done merge call will be done so you try to practice it once again so that you can have better idea okay so now now we will sort it directly here so uh, the things will get sorted and the new elements after sorting means overwritten sorting is done because these values are in sorted order they are already in the sorted order right if you consider only this part of the array so it is already in the sorted order because this is in sorted order even though it is in the sorted order the the changes the values will be overwritten okay so we'll just overwrite that row uh, that part of the array so 3 and 6 will be overwritten overwritten values are in the uh, blue color okay so it is already in the sorted order okay with this this entire function call is going to die in the sense it's going to complete its execution next we are going to come here ms of 0 comma 3 so this is where we have stopped our execution in this line of code the instruction pointer is 3 so that is the line of code where we, we have stopped our execution okay what is that next line that needs to be executed the next line that needs to be executed is fourth line so what is that fourth line so this is the fourth line and what is the value of q value of q is 1 value of q is 1 so here q plus 1 1 plus 1 2 comma r what is the value of r 3 2 comma 3 so a new function call is made with ms of 2 comma 3 means this is the part of code which we are going to uh, which this function call is worried about try to get that point so the function call made is ms of 2 comma 3 see here ms of 2 comma 3 so this part is already in the sorted order next part that we are going to consider is this is the part that we are going to consider so ms of 2 comma 3 is the function call that is made in the fourth line of execution see a third line of execution uh, is already we have done already we are in the fourth line of execution in the fourth line of execution another function a function call is made with ms of 2 comma 3 2 comma 3 means this part of the uh, array try to get that point 2 comma 3 so this is where the function call is so m of 0 comma 0 comma 1 is already done okay and this is the function call that is made 2 comma 3 2 comma 3 means again 2 comma 3 2 less than 3 is it true yes it is true if it is true what is the value of q value of q is 2 plus 3 by 2 2 plus 3 by 2 5 by 2 5 by 2 means 2.5 and the uh, uh, floor value is 2 try to get that point so here again in the line 3 in the line 3 this is the where this is the point where the function call is made in the line 3 again we are going to stop our execution and a new function call is made and with the in the new function call what are the values of p and q it is 2 comma 2 
see here okay so 2 comma 2 again here we are going to stop and this function call is made 2 comma 2 now 2 comma 2 both are equal so now on from now on if both are equal means it is of no use so we are not going to run this uh, lines of code so this one is done and where we stopped our execution at line 3 so this one is done so we are going to come back to this uh, uh, function call and where we are stopped at line 4 uh, at line 3 we stopped line 4 has to be executed what is that line 4 with the value of q is equal to 2 and r is equal to 3 q plus 1 is 3 3 comma 3 is the function call that is made so in the line 4 we are here and line 4 function call is ms of 3 comma 3 both of them are same so this one will also die okay now we will come back to this line of code and which line will get executed fourth line, fifth line will get executed what is this fifth line merge of 2 comma 2 comma 3 merge of c here m of m of 2 comma 2 comma 3 again 2 comma 2 comma 3 means this function call is made with 2 comma 2 comma 3 2 comma 2 comma 3 means this part of the code will be merged so how that merge is done merge means sorted so this one will become sorted so let's try to sort them okay 4 and 1 so this one is sorted okay okay then fine so we are done with this line of code also fifth line has been done okay now where this function call has been made this is where the function call is made 1 comma 3 within that the fourth line is going to be 2 comma 3 that that one is done and next the function call is m of 0 comma c here this is where we stopped our execution right at the fourth line we called ms of 2 comma 3 ms of 2 comma 3 has been called q plus 1 2 1 plus 1 2 2 comma 3 has been called and these are the lines of code and here we are going to execute the fifth line of code what is the fifth line of code for this execution it is m of m of m of 0 comma 1 comma 3 so the line of code see here uh, 2 comma 3 comma 3 is done 2 comma 2 comma 3 is the line of code this one is done 2 and 3 got executed and uh, uh, okay so here i missed these lines of code so here what in between we have these lines of code which is m of i i missed that line of code m of 0 comma 1 comma 3 so here i should have this uh, line of code so uh, here all this part is uh, is in the sorted order now this part we have to arrange them in the sorted order m of 0 comma 1 comma 3 means this part will be in the sorted order so all these elements will become sorted so how that is done so 1 4 1 4 3 6 1 4 3 6 right 1 3 4 6 is the new arrangement okay so after that this line will get completed this line will get completed now this is the third line of code where, where we have stopped our execution in this third line of code we have stopped our execution so the next line of code to get executed is fourth line of code and what is the value of q and r it is 3 and 7 pqr 0 3 7 so the fourth line of code is so the value of pqr is 0 3 7 0 3 7 and the fifth line is 3 plus 1 q plus 1 sorry fourth line is q plus 1 q plus 1 means 3 plus 1 which is 4 4 comma 7 means this is the part now we are going to worried so the this line of code this this uh, fourth line of code for these values is this part of the array that we are going to sort them try to get that point so okay now now the function call that is made is uh, ms of 5 comma sorry 4 comma 7 see here so i missed this line of code uh, uh, some way it went wrong so ms of 4 comma 7 is uh, this line of code is getting executed now now here we are in the fourth line of code in the fourth line of code a new function call is made and what is the value of that function it is ms of 4 comma 7 
फोर कामा सेवन मीन द वैल्यू ऑफ पी इज इक्वल टू फोर एंड आर इज इक्वल टू सेवन एंड अगेन फोर लेस देन सेवन इज इट ट्रू ये इट इज ट्रू इफ इट इज ट्रू देन क्यू इज इक्वल टू फ्लोर ऑफ पी प्लस आर बाई टू फ्लोर ऑफ पी प्लस आर बाई टू मीन्स हियर इन दिस केस इट इज फोर प्लस सेवन बाई टू फोर प्लस सेवन बाई टू मीन्स इलेवन बाई टू विच इज फाइव पॉइंट फाइव एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ क्यू इज फाइव फ्लोर वैल्यू मीन्स फाइव ओके सो हियर द वैल्यू ऑफ क्यू इज फाइव ट्राई टू गेट दट वैल्यू ऑफ एंड हियर दिस इज वेयर अगेन द फंक्शन कॉल इज मेड this in where again the function call is made so this is where again the function call is made and what is that function call it is 4 comma y so in this entire array function call we are now concern about this part of the array okay in the next function call we are we are we are going to be worried about this part of the array so first we will see this and here the function call is p comma q P comma Q means four comma five. Now the value of P and R is four comma five, and Q is going to be four less than five. Yes, it is true. Q is equal to four plus five by two, which is nine by two. Nine uh, uh, by two, four point five, which is four. Okay, so I'll go a little bit faster from now on. So hope you are getting that point. So in this function call. Here we are going to again stop in the third line, and the third line the function call is four comma four. So four comma four both are same means it is of no use. Again we are going to come back in the fourth line of code, p plus one by two. Sorry, q plus one by two, four plus one by two, five comma five. See here, q is four, four plus one by two. So this line of code, four plus one by two means. 5 comma 5, 5 comma 5. Again, the function call is made, so it is of no use. Uh, in the sense, uh, it is of no use. We are discussing it. Okay, right? So now, again, the fifth line of code will get executed. We are done with this, and the fourth line has been done, and the fifth line of code. Fifth line of code is m of 4 comma 4 comma 5. 4 comma 4 comma 5 means this part. Now this part will get sorted. So what is that sorted part? Again, we will arrange them in the order. Five comma. Okay, it is okay. This one, five comma eight. Okay, so now this one is also done. Now we have to come back again where we have stopped. This one is also done. So fourth and fifth line is also done, and we are left in the third line of this row. third line of this row and we have to execute the fourth line what is this fourth line ms of q plus 1 comma r q plus 1 comma r means q is 5 q plus 1 6 comma 7 see here q plus 1 is 6 comma 7 in the line of fourth line of code 6 comma 7 will get called and again so for this 6 comma 6 comma 7 means this part we have we are going to concern this one will die this one will die and after that we are going to merge 6 comma 6 comma 7 6 comma 6 comma 7 means this we are going to sort them so as they are even though they are in the sorted order they will get sorted again in the sense they will be rewritten this merge will get executed even though they are in the sorted order this merge will get executed and we are changing it to blue color means overwritten in the sorted order okay so now this part this part is sorted and this part is sorted and next it is going to call this ms of Six uh, comma six comma seven is done. Again, we have to call. We are we are here in this function call, and uh, sorry, where we are? We are in this in this fourth line of code, and fifth line of code will get executed. I missed that line. Again, I missed that line, which is m of m of four comma five comma seven. Means this entire part has to be. sorted again so in between these two so i have to give this uh, somehow i missed it so now all this uh, elements will be in the sorted order so if you arrange this 2 5 7 8 okay the elements are 2 5 7 and 8 okay now we are done with this fourth line of code also so this one will also get executed and this is what the final call 
okay so uh, in the process of this m4 call this this is what the last call is so here we are done with the fourth line of code and we are left with fifth line of code in this fifth line of code m of 0 comma 3 comma 7 0 comma 3 comma 7 this entire part now will get sorted so this is what the example that we have seen in our previous example okay so this is what we have seen in our previous example now this entire row array will get sorted watch our previous video the same explanation has been done in our previous video okay so now if you arrange this in the sorted order all the elements will get sorted so let's try to change them okay One, three, four, six, two. Okay, now all the elements will get sorted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So in this function call m of zero comma three comma seven, all the elements will get sorted order. So in this function call, okay. So this is this is how uh, the recursion. Uh, in the sense the divide and conquer mechanism is going to help us so that divide and conquer is achieved by using recursion so you have to understand that point so because the recursion is getting executed in this way we were able to get that logic of uh, divide and conquer by using that divide and conquer we will we were able to with the merge sort we were able to arrange these elements in the sorted order so this is all the algorithm of merge sort uh, hope you got the clarity so before that what is the efficiency of merge sort for worst case best case or it may be average case the efficiency of the merge sort is big o of n log n okay so the detailed explanation what how we are going to get the efficiency of this merge sort as n log n the detailed explanation has been made in our design analysis of algorithms course please if you want more about this uh, efficiency you can watch that video video also so where uh, you can clearly understand how we are going to analyze this algorithm so this entire merge sort algorithm is analyzed in three ways three methods uh, we have already discussed in that course uh, so uh, i am not going to go deeper about that so three different analyses are there uh, one by using substitution method masters method and the next one is recursive tree method so there are nearly three to four videos are there so we have clearly made an explanation about that if you haven't watched those videos uh, if you want more information about uh, the efficiency of the algorithm you can go there and watch them hope you got the clarity on this concept Cl thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching